Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Before we dive into today's topic, make sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Today, we're discussing Tommy Sotomayor's recent wake-up call on Twitter, and it's quite the story. Tommy Sotomayor, a once prominent figure on platforms like YouTube, found himself in a downward spiral after losing his channels and blaming black women for his troubles. Despite his initial success, Tommy failed to adapt to changing times and reinvest in his content, which ultimately led to his decline. Recently, Tommy got into a heated argument on Twitter, resulting in his suspension. His confrontational style and controversial remarks about race and white people contributed to his banishment from the platform. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked behavior online. The fallout highlights Tommy's ongoing issues with various communities and his inability to take responsibility for his actions. His pattern of blaming others for his setbacks underscores a broader lesson about personal accountability and growth. In conclusion, Tommy Sotomayor's journey serves as a cautionary tale about the pitfalls of fame, the importance of adaptation, and the necessity of self-reflection. It's a reminder for all of us to take ownership of our choices and strive for positive change. Let's discuss your thoughts on this complex situation in the comments. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Try that now at a bus stop. Try that now in an airport. Try that now in any community to Tommy, ask... How old are you? 150 years old? You said he's uh, 48, Richard. I'm 48. You guys, are, I mean, look, man. you guys are like the same age, Richard, right? <laughs> the community was total <laughs> back in the 80s. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. It's not like... I said day. it started with my generation. <laughs> okay. So my generation would have been the 80s. So when you yeah, say it was total back then, I had already I, said it was total. I, I, I hope you realize that, that everybody else got listened to. Guy that you are the and I get it. I got, no, 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 I got, no, got a black voice in here. You got to cut him off. The white ones let, got to let speak. Me, let, me, let me say this. As somebody yeah, back to the somebody. fields. It was funny. I want to take time out right now to apologize to black folks. I used to tell them, you get in those white people's spaces, they let you speak. They're not just going to be childish. Us blacks got to do be like those whites. I apologize to every black person I ever said that to. I came over here and was just trying to be very respectful like them. And for some reason, every non-comedian trying to be a comedian. It'd be it'd be great if any one of you guys were funny, but you're not. You're just irritating, which lets you know what you probably were in school Tommy, and after. Speaking platitudes. And uh, sir, I was just speaking. I was just speaking thinking. earlier and you didn't let me do it. I didn't bother any well, of you. Yeah, because I was just speaking. You're, you're said nothing saying, wrong. Like, Tell me what I said wrong. Back in my day, things were good. I didn't so say back like, in my day, things were good. I literally yeah, never I'm said that. Phrasing. Don't yeah, paraphrase I me paraphrase. wrong. Most people, you know, when they paraphrase, you know the they paraphrase, paraphrase what you said. Do you know what the word paraphrase means? Yes, and, it, and, and you can't be completely wrong like that and say I'm paraphrasing. That's called lying. Tell me. Just, just, okay, go ahead, Rick. Go ahead. Lord. Well, Tommy, like, I don't give a shit about your character on some I know you level don't. because that's, a, that's an unknowable thing. And you can always claim that you have a beautiful soul. You can only I go by what I've done here. Your obnoxiously flat platitudes for 15 minutes. But okay. how we don't have community, we don't respect one that's another. An Be a man. Platitude. Like, just, dude, say something that has content Sir, in it. I did. And I might actually I start to respect you. But if you're just going to sound give a like shit if dumb you don't pastor, respect me, Richard Spencer, like, why, why don't you go home? Richard, I don't why, care Dick, that you're Dick, so good Why do I care if you whatever. respect me or not, Dick? Dick, why do I care? I don't well, I know what it's you. About. I, I don't that's that's know about. you. I didn't cut your stupid shit off and you said stupid shit, but you then were allowed to say you it. Freedom of speech. That is so Apparently, I said content. something that somebody no understood. One. I got a lot of hundreds. Call me. Do you tell me? Tell me, what are you is. trying to f now? It's What's something wrong with you, no Richard? One. Tommy, listen. Dick. Tommy, listen. Dick. Tommy, you're going to Dick. listen to me. Do you understand? Dick, you didn't listen to me. You understand? Dick. Platitude. Dick, platitude, yeah, attitude, latitude, gratitude. But you I'm still not mad at you. Is. Can you define platitude, Tommy? Sir, can you define you know my nuts? Is? 
It is a statement that no one disagrees. Can you define my nuts? Like, we should love like, one another. I don't understand, yeah. Dick. Like, why are you so no mad at me, Dick? could bring themselves to disagree dick. with When that. I was and talking, Dick, you cut me off. You and sound you like you. a creep. Platitude. I'm tired of listening. Oh, my to God. Is he speaking in platitudes? All right? I know this probably. Oh my God! Well he's in speaking in platitudes. We actually mute them. Arguing. You're now making them. fun of my high voice. Oh my okay, God! Amazing. You were making fun of my platitudes, weren't you? Your Why didn't you just let me yeah. finish with my no, platitudes so I could have plateaued? <laughs> Sorry. 